Hello everybody, it's a Ranch come here and welcome to Resident Evil Umbrella Corp. This is their new Resident Evil spin-off, recently released on the 21st, which is yesterday at the time of recording. And it's a multiplayer third-person shooter. Yes. Now, I have to admit, I was kind of looking forward to this game. Uh, because, you know, it did look kind of fun and people are going to complain at me saying, oh, you shouldn't be looking forward to this, it's not Resident Evil, Resident Evil is dead. Well, yeah, of course it is. Have you seen anything past Resident Evil 4? So, yeah. Although, it does look quite nice and the frame rates are quite steady, so I figured that I'd play it and just give it a bit go, a bit of a go, and I've just finished the tutorial and it's actually quite fun. At least it's fast, fluid and, you know, it knows what it wants to be, even if there are some issues, apparently, according to the Steam reviews. So I'm using a good controller. You can hear that because you know apparently the PC controls are a bit fucked. So the experiment is a single-player version of the game, so I figured we're going to play that because you know, yeah. Um, PC, why are you? There you go. Stop. There we go. Stop vibrating so much. Um, yeah, I figured I'd play single-player because multiplayer is apparently like very hard to find. So I figured I'd just you know stick with the you know fucking. Single player, just to, you know, get some good, solid gameplay. The zombies are very hungry and they've been waiting a long time to do try to stay alive, but I won't be holding my breath or anything. March 12th, 2012. Alright, so yeah, this game does look quite nice, I have to admit, and it does look very, it is very fast and fluid, as you'll see. And the frame rate is quite nice as well. I've yet to play multiplayer, but, hmm. Obviously, you know, if you like what you see, buy it. But if not, then uh, don't. Deadly experiment. Well, yeah. This is Umbrella we're talking about. They make like a, they've made a living off making those experiments. Okay. DNA hunter. Collect the infected DNA samples. Do I have a zombie gem? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Right. Let's get this done, shall we, boys? There it is. Oh, hello. Get away from me. This one's mine. Get brained. Oh, hello. Sample obtained. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just looking around. I think I just sort of collect DNA from the zombies, I think. There it is. Completed. Oh, hello. I think that went well. Very fast. I don't know why, but my frame rate was a little bit laggy at some places. Huh. Very weird. Cool. So quickly, I'm going to go to the options. PC. Hmm. Well, yeah, apparently everything's low. Let's go to 60. Motion blur off, because god no. Uh, shadows, let's go for standard. Confirm. Hopefully then things will be a bit more consistent. Let's go for spicing things up. The survival rate for the experiments last year were far too low. That asshole with the huge nose from the inquiry board tasked me to make them more effective. I won't make the same mistakes. Let's start with the PDW. That should increase your odds. Okay. Can I not change my guns? Guess not. <laughs> Alright then. 
March 13th, 2012. The area ravaged by the T-Virus. Truly hell on earth. To that end, I've given you weapons to survive the carnage. Use them well, and I may let you live to see another day. And you may live to see another day. My mistake. Hmm. I think once we'll do we'll do this, and then we'll try and find a multiplayer game. And get some gameplay of that. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know why zombies are spawning from, like... Just carcasses. Is that just a thing now? You'd think after like the past like seven outbreaks, Umbrella would probably stop, but you know. Collect the infected DNA samples. Well, I've got a shield now. Nice. Thank you. What's this? Nice. I'll take that. Sorry, I'm not commentating too much. I'm just kind of focusing. Sample obtained. Dusted. Oh yeah. That was fast. See what I mean? Like it's very fast. It's very fluid, you know? Which is kinda cool. Right, let's play some multiplayer, shall we? Team match. So again, I'm literally just a tutorial on those two missions, so. Uh, weapon set. Let's see what we can get. We've got the... Uh, we can get this, or that. Can we get anything else? No, okay. Well, that's a bit empty. Oh, okay. Uh, what about pistol? No, I can get the samurai edge, but, you know. What about any different grenades? A jammer buster. Hmm. Can I change my brainer? Yes, that's the real name of it. No, I guess not. Uh, what about... I can customize, apparently. Outfits. Change outfits. I need to be higher levels, though. Damn. Change color. Uh, let's just leave it as... Icon. So this is eventually like chat menu, so you can talk to your teammates, pretty much. Hmm. Right, let's go with that. Patches. So you can... Uh... Let's go for... Hmm. Let's go for BSAA. Those are all locked, I guess. Yeah. Right, okay, now that I've done that, let's go for public match, shall we? One life or multi mission? Uh, one life, the people players on the enemy team to win. If you used to be done, you cannot respawn till the end of the round. No XP of that record will be acquired. Uh, rules change at random between rounds. Let's go for a ranked match then. Multi mission, why not? And let's hopefully find a game. Assuming there are enough people playing it. I mean, this came out like yesterday, so I'm not sure. Hopefully. Okay, there it is. Cool. <sighs> hopefully, I don't have my mic enabled, because if I do, that would be bad. Yeah, because as much as I like communication, Like communication. 
can then use missions to test your metal. Changing objective to test your adaptable UI. If you're truly an elite unit, then show us what you've got. Okay, we're at the police station. Come on, load. All right, here we go. All right, the game's underway. Commencing search. There we go. I have my jam on so zombies can't see me. So I guess we've got to kill those things and get the DNA from them. Yeah. Zombies, there we go, miss. Nice. Well, I was nowhere near him, but okay. I think, though, uh, with the thingy, they, they were, when you're in a certain range, they sort of hit you automatically, so, yeah. Sir, we've got it. Good. Now bring it to me. Oh, hey, Wesker, what's up? That was easy. Let's find another one, shall we? I don't know if my mic's on. I don't know how to check that. Yeah, I joined late though, so... Okay, so I've muted myself, apparently. Let's go for Raccoon City, shall we? Why not? Those stats mean. Perfect. Now I really stand. It's really weird how, like, uh, you know, how well the uh, customization is. 
You would think that because this game must get on a lot of shit, it wouldn't be that good, but it actually is. Right, one more match, and then we will call it, I think. Because I think you've probably then seen enough to decide whether you like the game or, didn't, or dislike it. Because honestly, I kind of like it. It's fun. I mean, it takes some getting used to, and it's obviously not Resident Evil, but when has Resident Evil been Resident Evil in the past couple of installments? I think Resident, the real Resident Evil ended at, like, four. So... Yeah. It's a sad state of affairs, because I played the, uh... I played four, and it was actually pretty fun, but, uh... I played five and six as well, and they were fun, but they were the... They, they were fun, yeah, but it wasn't Resident Evil. Even I know that, and I'm not, like, the hugest fan of it, so... You know. You know what I mean. We need your data. Secure the specified upload point. Proceeding to first transfer point. Like switch my shoulder and cover, which is annoying. Control to do that. Um, up on the D-pad, I guess. No, apparently not. Ow! I just, I really want to know if there's a way to do that. I guess there isn't. That's really irritating. Round lost. Okay. Were the rules somehow unclear to you? How did we lose? I don't know. I don't know. I thought we held it for long, but I guess we didn't. I'm confused. Dot com. We need all of the cases, people. Stop at nothing. Recover all the briefcases. Yes. Objectives confirmed.
Get the briefcase. Yes. Got all of them? You lab rats are top notch. That was easy. I need the button for that, you know, the one that you press that goes. That was easy. Bring back viral samples from those things. Collect DNA from certain types of zombies. Like okay. sample. This thing's broken. I did okay, I think. The brain is quite fun, which is the left bumper. It's like that big tomahawk thing that you pick up. That thing that he's got. I think we're winning, though. From where? Was he, like, right in front of me? Did I just not see him, or was he behind me? Yeah, he was right in front of me. No mistake. Didn't quite see him through all the zombies. El Zombos. Brink of victory. than the enemy. What the fuck? Objectives confirmed. Is that just kill people and then get their colors? Or... Yeah, it's just kill confirmed pretty much. Never expect me in the truck. <laughs> well, I killed him, but he killed me. <laughs> All right, I can dig it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah, this game is quite fun, though. I have to admit, before it was, you know, I was a bit sceptical, but it actually is kind of fun. Or maybe I just have no standards. Oh, yeah! Fucking all three boys. <laughs> I'm the best. All that delicious XP. Ooh, I got the granite and the swamp rat and the K12 sights and some camo and some outfit colors and some icons and the smirk and the trial. Okay. Right, so this has been Resident Evil Umbrella Core. So thank you very much for watching. I think the game's fun. Obviously it's not Resident Evil, and there's some tweaking that could be done, but I think it's an alright game so far. So thank you very much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.